Welcome into another episode of the JWB DFS Corner for Week 9. I'm Wyatt here to highlight some players for the DraftKings main slate. For all players, we're hoping for them to three times their salary. What does that mean? That means if they cost $5,000 on DraftKings, we want them to get at least 15 points. Before I get to my Week 9 players, I'll review my Week 8 calls. My first Week 8 tournament play was Kirk Cousins at $6,100, and he went for 2448 DK points for four times his salary. A big win there. My second tournament call is Chris Olave at $6,000. Only 10.2 DraftKings points for less than two times his salary. The Saints actually shut out the Raiders and played from ahead that entire game, leaving them in the place of not really having to pass that much. And Chris Olave did not get as much work as we'd like. He led the Saints in uh, wide receivers and tight ends and targets but it wasn't enough in a game in which they didn't pass enough. My third tournament call was Pat Fryermuth at $3,900, going for 9.7 DK points, two and a half times his salary, not the mark we were trying to hit, but didn't kill you. My cash game lock was Tony Pollard at $6,100, who went for 36.7 DraftKings points for six times his salary, one of the best plays on the entire slate. Turns out he was actually good. For tournaments as well, as long as you were able to get a little bit different with your lineups because he was so good on his salary. Moving on to week nine, my first tournament play is Justin Fields at $5,300 going against the Dolphins, who give up the six most DraftKings points to quarterbacks so far this year. And Justin Fields is averaging 23.3 DraftKings points over his last three games, which by itself would clear four times his price. And he also has a really safe floor because of his rushing in ability. He's averaging 53 yards a game rushing so far this year. And he's only the 14th highest salaried QB on the slate, coming in real cheap, but giving you the points you need. My next tournament call, Ramondre Stevenson at $6,200, playing against the Colts, who are actually a good matchup this year as they are uh, 10th worst against running backs. And Ramondre Stevenson has had over 20 DK points in five of his last six games, including his last four. He's also had at least five targets in five of his last six games. And I think most people will end up gravitating towards Travis Etienne at $6,300 or Kenneth Walker at $6,200. So I think you can get leverage in tournaments that way by going with Ramondre Stevenson. My last tournament call is Evan Ingram at $3,300 going up against the Raiders who give up the third, third most DraftKings points to tight ends. And Evan Ingram is someone who started off the season kind of slow, but he's gotten into a rhythm lately and is averaging 12 DK points a game over his last four with at least six targets in each of those games. That 12 points alone gets us over the mark we are looking for, and I think there's a good chance he can score in this game as the, Ravens, or the Raiders have given up six touchdowns just to tight ends so far this year. So there's a decent chance Evan Ingram gets in the end zone. If he does, I think he'll smash his salary. My cash game lock for this week is Amon Ross St. Brown at $6,600. Going against the Packers, who actually have give up only the eighth uh, least amount of DraftKings points to wide receivers so far this year. But it's actually kind of deceiving. So week one, they went up against Jeff- Justin Jefferson, who absolutely destroyed them. And then they played the Bears, who... Have no one at wide receiver. They played the Bucks without Mike Evans or Chris Godwin. Played the Patriots without Jacoby Myers. They played the Giants, again, a team really without wide receivers. The Jets with Zach Wilson, who where they only threw the ball 18 times. And then they gave up good games to Terry McLaurin and Curtis Samuel. And then last week, Stephon Diggs had a great game against them. So I really think that that eighth least DK points to wide receivers is pretty deceiving when you put it into context. And then Amon Ra has four games this, so far this year with 70% snaps played. He's had some injured games. He's played through injury and didn't make it through the whole game. But the four games in which he's played at least 70% snaps, he averages 10.8 targets per game. And in those games, he has 22.5 DK points per game. Additionally, TJ Hawkinson just left for the Minnesota Vikings, freeing up possible more opportunities for Amon Ra St. Brown. That does it for this week. I hope everyone goes out there and wins some tournaments. In the meantime, you can like and subscribe this channel so you can get it in your feed, get all of our content. Go over to jwbfantasyfootball.com, 
or JWB underscore FF on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter at YB underscore FF. I'll see you next time.